good, YouTube? Let's talk Galaxy Note 9 and Galaxy Note 10. Now, in my eyes, the Galaxy Note 9 was a pretty much perfect device. Love the Galaxy Note 9. Um, matter of fact, let's take it back before the Galaxy Note 9. When I started buying Notes, I started with the Note 3. Um, that was eons ago compared to the norms now, compared to the specs now, things of that nature. But uh, if you look at the Note series, it worked like this. I bought a Note 3. I really liked it. Bought the Note 4. The Note 4 was fantastic. The Note 4 was, I loved it. The, that's the phone that made me love the Note. It was a complete utility phone. Like I felt like the Note should be. Utility had everything. Micro SD expansion. Headphone jack, even though it was common back then to have a headphone jack on a device. Um, removable battery. It was just so many things that you could do with that device. Um, move on to the Note 5. They kind of brought it down a little bit. They got rid of uh, the micro SD card on the Note 5, which I wasn't feeling. Put a glass back on there. Took away the removable back. The Note 5 was a, lot, a lackluster. It lacked the luster of a Note to me. Then moving on, the Note 7 came out. Uh, it was a disaster, not because the device wasn't good, but it had battery issues. But I was loving the device for maybe the two weeks that I did have the device. Um, it was a nice device. They brought back the micro SD card slot. Um, just a really nice device. Uh, they rounded the edges, things of that nature. I like the curved edges uh, on the displays. Excuse the wind. But um, yeah, it was a really nice device to me. Um, go ahead, move on past the Note 7, Note 8 drop. Um, Note 8 was decent. It had some performance issues. It wasn't, you know, it did some lag and still had that Samsung lag and the period where other devices was dropping with no lag. So you had to, they had to fix that. And the Note 9 drops. Snapdragon 845 held it down. Um, I got the 512 gigabytes. Uh, eight gigs of RAM edition. Um, really like this device. It is a complete utility device, micro SD card slot, all of the things that I wanted on the Note. You know, uh, you have headphone jack, and now we hear the Note 10 rumors, where they talking about the Note 10 won't have a headphone jack or, or micro SD card slot. Um, as far as the headphone jack goes, I don't really like saying this, but it because I, you know, it's kind of like me uh, going against what I previously said. Of course, headphone jacks are life to me. I love to have them on phones, but everything is going wireless. Um, Apple went in this direction. I ain't gonna say prematurely, but they did go in the direction early and first. They was the first at it, and at the time when they did it, I couldn't really understand that concept. But everything is going wireless. I wish now not not saying that. It's okay for Samsung to remove the headphone jack. I'm not saying, okay, now Samsung's doing it, so it's okay. No, I still would rather have a headphone jack on the device. Um, it's reasoning behind it, I guess, but still not good enough reasoning for me, even when Apple did it. I'm still not with that, but I guess it's the future, and you know everybody's going with Bluetooth, and the headsets, everything is going in that wireless direction. Um, I can kind of see you saying, you know, now I can kind of see the headphone jack looking like a cassette player, you know, on a car. You know, you got a new car and you got a cassette player, you know, they they phasing them out. You, you know, you see what I'm saying? And I did, a lot of times I did beat up Apple for not having a headphone jack. I'm still going to beat up Samsung because I still like the headphone jack, but I understand what's going on as far as that go. Now, like I said, the Note 9 is still a perfect device. It still is working wonderfully. I still have mine on uh, Android Pie, running very smooth, not giving me any lag at all. Screen still top tier. Cameras on the rear top tier. Selfie camera is good. Um, it could be better, but it is good, you know? So it's just one of those things, guys, like, I mean, we just gonna have to deal with that's life uh, as far as the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 coming out, um, the price. Now, I'm just a little, I'm scared. I mean, I don't wanna pay $1,300 for a cell phone. I'm sorry, I don't wanna pay that. 
I'm not really into that. That's probably gonna be one of the factors that uh, has me not wanting to buy a Samsung Galaxy Note 10. Honestly, different, uh, but it's gonna be, we have to, it's so many rumors and so much hype behind this phone. I'm not gonna say hype, it's just a big rumor mill behind this phone because it's not, everybody is not hyping it up. Everybody is just like, it's gonna be $1,300. They're not gonna have this anymore. They're not gonna have that anymore. But we have to just wait. I'm gonna wait till August 7th and I'm gonna wait for the launch and see what Samsung says. Um, it's supposed to be a variant. At first they were saying it was gonna be a Note 10 Pro. Now people are saying, you know, because of leaked pictures, it's gonna be a Note 10 Plus. Um, I'm really just hoping that, even though I'm hoping that it's a Note 10 Plus and the difference is the screen size, you know? Maybe they just want to make a big, a super size note and the pricing will be a little different, but let's, I want us to still have a Note 10 that's about $1,000. I mean, really, I want a Note 10 that's about $1,000. I don't want, I don't want to be forced to spend $1,300. I spent $1,250 on my Note 9 because I wanted the extras. I wanted the, uh, I wanted the storage, you know? I wanted that extra RAM. So, you know, as long as they give us options, we should be cool. I'm hoping that there's options out there for folks that love notes, but we can still spend a th we still spending a thousand dollars, not a little bit of money. We're going to spend a thousand dollars, and it's, I'm not. We're not going to sit here and disrespect a thousand dollars like I'm like you trying to take the El Cheapo route. But now, with the possibility of it not being a micro, uh, you can't insert any micro SD card. Whatever you buy, a thousand dollars, you stuck with. Um, so we just really gonna have to wait it out and wait for the launch because I mean it's so many rumors and it's so much just in your window and there's a lot of negativity around the phone so I'm gonna let Samsung drop it I'm gonna watch the event and then after the event I'll be able to bring you guys really my real thoughts and feelings you know I'm scared because all the negativity around the phone and the the loss of this and the loss of that one thing that I did here was uh, actually the ir blaster so that sounds dope if they bring the ir blaster back um that'll be something really up my alley i'm really into that but we'll see we just gotta wait out the uh all the hype and all the negativity and if we still rocking with our galaxy note nines we still straight galaxy note nine is still a great device so it's no need to just you know go into this thing rushing or we still holding down great galaxy note nines um, hopefully in the good note 10 if we do move on there'll be some improvements on the s pen the s pen won't be as cheap and things of that nature but for now it's a waiting game we're gonna wait and see guys thanks to your man bg tech life just some thoughts just uh putting my thoughts and opinions out there um go ahead and if you're not subscribed get subscribed uh we going i'm gonna i'm definitely gonna bring it to y'all after the launch after the event and we see what's really going on it's your man BG. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Let me know the rumors you heard. Let me know how you feeling. If you're moving on to the Note 10 or if you already made up your mind. It's your man BG. I'm out. Peace.